Hello and welcome to our video on how to identify and measure the PR interval on an EKG rhythm strip. In this video, we'll show you step by step how to identify and measure the PR interval on an EKG rhythm strip, a critical measurement for diagnosing heart conditions. Step 1 Find the beginning of the P wave. The P wave is the first wave in a normal EKG strip, and it represents the electrical activity that causes the atria to contract. To identify the beginning of the P wave, look for the first upward deflection of the wave on the EKG strip. Step 2. Find the end of the P wave. The end of the P wave is the point where the wave returns to the baseline. Step 3. Find the beginning of the QRS complex. The QRS complex is the second wave in a normal EKG strip, and it represents the electrical activity that causes the ventricles to contract. To identify the beginning of the QRS complex, look for the first upward deflection of the wave on the EKG strip. Step 4. Identify the PR interval. The PR interval is measured from the beginning of the P wave to the beginning of the QRS complex. To identify the beginning of the PR interval, look for the point where the P wave begins and is followed by a flat baseline before the beginning of the QRS complex. Step 5. Measure the PR interval. To measure the PR interval, count the number of small squares between the beginning of the PR interval and the beginning of the QRS complex. You can use an EKG caliper to accurately count the squares. Each small square on an EKG strip represents 0.04 seconds, so multiply the number of small squares by 0.04 to get the duration of the PR interval in seconds. Let us demonstrate the use of an EKG caliper. Place one tip of the caliper at the beginning of the P wave. Then place the other tip of the caliper at the beginning of the QRS complex. Fix the caliper arms, then move the caliper to an empty area of the EKG paper while maintaining the arms in that fixed position. Place the tips of the fixed caliper over visible small squares and then count the number of small squares between the caliper tips. Multiply the number of small squares by 0.04 and this will give you the measurement of your PR interval in seconds. The normal range for the PR interval is between 0.12 and 0.20 seconds or 3 to 5 small squares. A PR interval that is shorter or longer than this range can be an indication of certain heart conditions. Identifying and measuring the PR interval is a critical step in diagnosing heart conditions. By following these steps, you can accurately measure the PR interval on an EKG strip and better understand your heart's electrical activity. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and smash the like button.